Today I'm going to be doing a my top 10 best drawings in the past two months. So this is going to be exciting, showing you how good my drawings have come along in the past two months. So let's get into this video. Okay, so starting off at number 10 is a Maserati. I have my new signature. It's Guapa this time, not and and um yeah i even did the logo and um yeah i think it's just i i i think it's really good but it's not the best i have ever done this week i've done this week i could do a little bit more detail in the grid and the headlights are looking a little bland but it still deserves an honorable mention so next number nine Wolverine. Okay, so this is Logan slash Wolverine in his classical costume. I think the reason this is number nine and not number five, four, or three, two, or one is because the legs are a bit skinny compared to the rest of the body and a bit short. I don't know if you can tell. But yeah, the claws are good, the head is good, the torso is good. He also is really buff, and that's Wolverine. So yeah. And that's my signature again. So yeah. Pretty good. Coming in at number eight is a mountain range. The best signature again. I signed all of my drawings. You'll be seeing a lot of that. And yeah, I think it's just very, it's very clean. You can tell what it is. But at first, I went for sand dunes because I was recently in Death Valley. But um, it turned out to be mountains because it's way too rigid to be sand dunes. So yeah. So that is number seven. I think it is very good and deserves a mention on this list. All right, now to number six. Okay, number seven is a Darth Maul. He has the single bladed since I have a single bladed lightsaber. Um, this this is the first one I'm showing that I colored with my Copics, and um, yeah, the that's why the signature is so bad. I used Copics for some reason, and um. Yeah, that's number seven. Coming out at number six is, drumroll please. I only have one hand right now, so I'm using my fingers. A dragon versus a human. Woo, he's kind of underground in the underworld. So uh, there's stalagmite. I don't know which one is stalagmites, but um, yeah. So this one, there's a kind of cartoon dragon, I'd say, but um, then there's a tiny human. That proves how big he is. So this is like a huge indent. I kind of went for like a nether design. So like there'd be lava down here. But I didn't want to. So I just left it off with stalagmites and other lagmites. And then a human ready to fight him. So yeah. Now for number five. A super dynamic and proportional drawing. Superman! The cape is super flowy. It's really cool. Um, the legs are long enough. I think I made the arms just a tiny bit too short. But otherwise, yeah. it's it's. <gasps> oh no, I forgot the symbol! And it's fine. I'm, I'll, let it, I'll let it later. Um, I made his face look good. Um, yeah, the only flaws are the, the logo's gone and his arms are a tiny bit too short. But that's why it's number five and not number one. Okay, now for number four, this one is kind of stretching the length of time, the two months period, I think. Yeah. So this is a Valentine's Day, February 14th drawing. I drew a rose. It even has all the little spiky things, a lot of cross hatching. Overall, it's a really nice detailed rose and a lot of cross hatching and I think it looks really nice. The lettering sucks though. Don't don't pay attention to that. I think this one actually deserves to be in the number 3 spot. Like this took me a lot of time and it's really good. So, coming in at number 3 is El Guapo Entertainment poster. So I have my Copics up there. Um, Star Wars for life. You guys know I love Star Wars. 
at least I think. So I added a four for actual life, and then I did like the kind of same design on the Star Wars logo. I did R2-D2, Death Star with a bunch of TIE, TIE fighters coming out. Put this in parentheses, um, and a quote marks, doing little H's if their TIE fighters are really far away. It's a life hack to, to drawing TIE fighters. Okay, quote over. So I, I did like a million little pencils, because you know, I have that pencil. Yeah, I got plenty of pencils. Plenty. And so I did me holding the YouTube play button and the yo behind me. Baby Yoda, you know I love Baby Yoda. He's behind me like, what the freak is he doing? So I'm also being like blasted away from it and you know. Yes. <gasps> Where'd the eye go? I'll find it later. But, yeah, that is number three. I think it deserves it. Oh, and also my buddy, King Wall Glider, he's up there. Because, like, he's my best friend. So, yeah, number three. Okay, and coming in at number two, this one is also well-deserved. This one is probably two and a half months ago, so it's not three months but, um, Symbiote plus Spider-Man. And you get a sneak peek of his eye in there, so you can't really see it. But this is the first, um, Symbiote plus Spider-Man drawing I've ever done, and I kind of got addicted to Venom. So now I love Venom, yeah. And, like, look at that hand. I'm like, look at all that Symbiote slime. And then the top of Venom's jaw. And then, like, the reflective bottom part, since he hasn't ripped it off yet. It is well-deserved. All right, are you? I don't think you're ready to see number one. All right, let's do this. Epic one showing. And like I said, I mean, look at that. I mean, that's just, that's, you know how long that took me? Take your guys in the comment section down below and pause the video. And then, uh, okay, yeah, I'm ready to tell you. So comment what you think, and here we go. This took me four hours. Yeah, that's it. That's it, just four hours. So the guidelines took about an hour, and then I... It took me an hour to decide what the design would be. And at first, he was going to be like a long lion thing going that way. But and then I'm like, nah. So I made him curve that way, but the head was already facing that way. So what I did was made him looking that way, but his body going... You know what I mean. And so when I did that, it was already another hour had gone by. So... Then I had to decide if I wanted to ink it or color it. I decided neither. So I was like, wait. So before this scorpion tail, I was like, what kind of tail could I give him? What's the sickest tail in the animal universe? Scorpion tail. So that's what I thought to myself. And um, I gave him like armor platings, kind of like a beetle. And... Um, like, I gave him a little bit of armor on his forearms, his back. Then he's super, like, rigidy, like, shark scales when you zoom in, them, zoom in on them really hard. He also has a drill at the end of his tail. I don't know if you can tell. But, yeah, it's a lot. A lot of detail. And then, yeah, that is number one. Just just take a second. You just You just got to take a second. All right, that's enough seconds. I would like to thank you very much for watching that video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to me if you haven't already. I sorry, PS, sorry I haven't been posting in a while. I've just been caught up with other stuff like spring break. So, um, this is the outro. Thank you so much. See you later.
and hope you enjoyed. Bye!